I killed him. Oh, there's another one here. <gasps> no! I headshot him. Oh, I don't have ammo with this gun. Hello, Ricky. Yo. Today we have not one, but two items to unwrap. I'm ready. Okay, let's start with the first one. Let's put the second one aside for now. We're upgrading our free loot. I get a lot more now. All right, so what do we have? We have a mailbox. I don't know what this is, but this is not something that we usually get. Let's unwrap. Oh, it's a mouse. Okay, oh, nice. Fancy giant picture of it right here. This is by Lexip. It's called the PU94. It's a French company and we uh, have never unwrapped any Lexip products until today. This sounds like an element. It looks like plutonium. It is a element of gaming gear. Oh, and it's gonna be an element of surprise for me when I test it out, because this looks intense. One thing that I noticed right away, it says here that it's the first 3D mouse that integrates two joysticks. There's one joystick here, but I have no idea where the second joystick is. And from here, we can see that it won a lot of awards, so it must be the real deal. They use the ADNS 9800 lens, and this goes up to 12,000 DPI. This has 30 grams of acceleration. Let's open the box and see. Boom. There's a shell joystick and there's a thumb joystick and there's side buttons. So it's definitely not a normal mouse. And it says there's an unfair advantage. No, don't show that part because if I do well later, it's due to pure skill and there's no unfair advantage at all. But let's go right in. Bam, look at that. And there's nothing else in there. There's the manual right here, which I'll have a look at after. Open it up, super simple. There it is, we got the mouse, we got the cable. Really nice long cable right there, it's braided. So yeah, not the cheap kind of braided cable. It's really well designed. To be honest, I don't know how accurate this is, but this feels exactly like the G502's braided cable. Super strong, super stiff. It's a thinner braided cable, so it has a good light weight to it. So you have six ceramic feet. Okay, you know, there's a lot of hype for people going to get hyperglides, they get it for pretty much any mouse. And ceramic honestly sounds like such a smart idea because it's way more Durable, it doesn't rub on the surfaces and get worn out like rubber does, and it doesn't scratch your table. This whole thing is moving. What the heck? Look at this. I'm assuming this is one of the joysticks. It's like two pieces put together right there. What? Okay, this is so cool. They have a very tiny sensor here. They do mention laser technology on the bottom there. Let's look around on the top here. Comes in a very, very clean cut design. I do notice they have some markings here made of that glossy plastic. They did their logo as well on the side here. And on both sides is a complete surface of rubber. It's definitely not meant to be used with the left hand from the joystick right here. Let's take a first look. Oh my God, it's so smooth. We can click all the way to here and this is not clickable. So it's a weird design. It's good for a claw grip because your grip is closer here and the material is really soft. The scroll wheel. Also really high quality. So this is one of the two joysticks that they mentioned. Oh yeah. This is so nice. It's such a tiny joystick that you barely feel it, but it is so quick. Is it weird to see a joystick on a mouse? Have you used controllers before in the past? I have never seen a joystick merged into a mouse. Does it click? It does. It has a button click on the actual joystick itself. So you have to press it a little bit, so there's no way you're accidentally pressing this button. And now let's take a look at that joystick that I discovered earlier. So I'm assuming you can use it like the Swift Point. You know how the Swift Point you were able to like kind of... It has the yeep, the yawn, the roll, as yeah. you would say. I'll have to see how it feels in game. So you can use it like a normal mouse or you can palm it completely and just go like, yeah, you know? You can use their custom software to adjust all the lighting, all the macros and all that stuff. So I think you've pretty much discovered everything you could about this. We do have another item to unwrap. Why don't we grab that, Roland? Put this mouse can you aside. guess what this is? It's pretty big and if it's coming with a mouse, I'm assuming it's something to complement the mouse, but I've never seen a package like this. It's orange, so I know it's the same brand right there. Oh, okay, I think I see it. It's a mouse pad. So it is a rigid mouse pad by the same company, Lexip. I just realized Lexip is just pixel backwards. That's a pretty cool name for releasing gaming products. It's RGB. Oh man, I'm gonna have to see how this one looks. Oh, you can change color, I think, directly on the mouse pad by pressing somewhere. Mm -hmm. And that is to complement the RGB lighting on the PU94. Oh, these go together. Okay. Uh -huh. This one is the B series, B Element 5. So this is called, oh, it's in French. Tapis de souris rigide. I'm pretty sure that's a smile, right? Mouse. So we got a stiff smile. Hopefully it put a stiff smile on my face. It's a low friction surface. From what I can tell right now, it's very similar to that Corsair we did on a previous episode. So let's see. Boom. Oh, it's so huge. Holy crap. Oh, they did say it was a rigid one. I thought I meant rigid like it was sturdy. Watch this. Holy crap, this is 
This is a metal piece. Maybe not metal, but it does feel really, really sturdy and really, really heavy too. This is a user manual. What it should be is a safety warning because this is a hunk of metal right here. Here, let me just read it really quick for you guys. To summarize, don't drop this on someone's head. Let's put that over here. Unwrap turn ASMR. It's a really nice surface. It's big enough. It feels like, you know when you have roller blades and you have those fast bearings on them? Ooh, it looks like it's fused from multiple parts. So at the very top layer here, we have the rubber feet that is fused on top of a plastic surface, which is connected to an acrylic plastic that is also coated with another plastic protector, which is also coated on top. <laughs> Holy crap, it's so loud, but it's super smooth. So far, from my personal experience, from any regular mouse I've used, this is the fastest. This feels crazy smooth. I've never felt a mouse like this before. Okay, so there's only one way to find out how this performs in game and how the RGB looks. We're uh, bringing the whole thing to the table. All right. Including the skills. All right. All right, so we're back here at the test station. As you guys can probably see, we have Fortnite open and we also got the Lexip PU94 software going through this. Pretty much what I expected here. We got some of the buttons. Now, if you go to the more advanced bindings, we have the joystick itself. So this is this is the internal joystick with left right rotation. This one has a forward and back, and these two uh, modify the thumb joystick. We did set up a little bit of a profile here for Fortnite, and this should supposedly help me uh, build things a little bit easier. If I push forward, it brings out my ramp. Now, if I pull this to the right, it puts out my wall. I pull this down, puts out the floor. I'm gonna try a, a double, a triple ramp rush. So you go ramp, wall, floor. Oh, 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 look at it go. Can you see that on the side camera? I'm literally doing this. And it's building all that. This is effortless. I don't know if I can aim like this, but it makes building so much easier. This game looks kind of weird. I've been playing Apex too much. You've been playing uh, Apex more than Fortnite? Yeah, the fans, uh, they, they want us to play more Fortnite, so we're back. I got one! I feel like I'm an old man playing this game again. There's also the Valentine's Day mode if you want to share that. It's just crossbows and 50 HP and low gravity. I got one! Where the heck? What the heck? He just flew out. What the heck? What the heck? Wait! No! Oh yeah? You wanna, you wanna dance? I can't hit him. Oh. <laughs> oh, I have a, a thing. I know what that is. You know? Yeah. What is it? It's the, the thing. Yeah. I killed him. Oh, there's another one here. <gasps> no. I headshot him. Oh. I killed someone. Oh, I hit that shot though. Oh, this guy. What are you doing on your balloon? Oh, he's too fast. <laughs> yes, I Oh, I saw that. Oh, shit. He's shooting me. Oh, you killed him? Yeah. Well, this mode is so chaotic. Oh. Oh, I see him. I see him. Woo. I killed some guy. Oh. Oh, I killed some guy. Oh, I killed some guy. <gasps> oh, we won? Oh, there it is. What the heck? So here we have Apex Legends. So instead of control here, I'm going to use a joystick and move it backwards to slide in game. And I think it's going to make it easier. And I don't have to worry about using my pinky again to slide because all I have to do is Move this one backwards and here you go. Even though you're holding this, you're, you still can easily aim with the mouse. It doesn't really affect you. All I do is I use my thumb now for the joystick and it lets me crouch easily. And then I can still aim and shoot like I usually do. Oh my God. Hey, that's us. Cause oh, we won. Cause of the guy? No, last game we won, remember? For a video? Wingman and Mozambique, is it good? Oh, Mozambique is the worst gun in the game. Really? Yeah. Okay, thanks for telling me. <laughs> oh, yeah, one. That's two. That's all of them. Let's go. Oh, shut up the stairs. Oh, I knocked him down. Oh, nice. One more, one more.
Oh my god. I got him. I got him too. Oh. Oh, he killed me. There's another guy in the building. Oh. Oh, that's so close. Oh, I got one. Okay. Are you coming to? Oh, you got one. Mm hmm. That's one. She got me. Almost got me. Oh, nice. Oh, shit, there's a strike right there. Wait, was that a real guy? I think that was a clone. Yeah, that was a clone. What the heck? Oh, come on, show me your head. You dead now. Yo, where's the kill leader? Six kills. Okay. Wait, a lady took it too. Watch out behind you. Oh, I killed him. Whoa, we got him. Oh, I don't have ammo on this gun. No! <laughs> he got us! Welcome back to the table, boys. How oh. was the mouse and the mouse pad? Just to start off, let's just talk about that mouse build quality itself. Every single piece is very solid. Although this is a two-piece joystick action, everything felt really strong. It was really stable. The button clicks, I do appreciate their really nice clicky mechanical mouse switch. And that it provided amazing performance in-game. Overall, it felt like a very solid mouse. So first of all, yeah, I like that mouse a lot too. But I want to add to the clicks. If you tend to click really far away, it'll be kind of a distraction because this doesn't click. Now in terms of glide, holy crap, this thing is just crazy. I've never seen a mouse glide that easily, that smoothly. It's like butter. There's a cable here holding it and still there's no friction. Look at that. In terms of glide, it's probably the craziest mouse I've ever used. It has to be the mouse feet. It's the fact that there's so many of them. They're made of ceramic. But I also have to add that the mouse pad is probably another reason why this combo is working so well together. But I have to add, you see the little fingerprint right there? That's how you change color. You don't have to go into any software. You just press here and then you see here the color change. It's so nice. For those of you at home that do not have the opportunity to experience the ceramic feet, you've probably heard about hyperglides. Your favorite streamers probably use this. They're engineered to reduce the friction of your mouse to as low as possible. Being someone who's actually tried hyperglides before, I can honestly say this has the lowest friction I've ever seen for a mouse. The only downside I would say is it is making a lot of noise because it is slightly bumpy on the surface there. But honestly, that's a trade-off I'm willing to take. To go even further, this mouse was kind of known for its two joystick action here. The one around the shell and the one on the side. Lexup originally kind of created mouses that were more for office work. So people that did 3D modeling, people that they were designing models, they have to zoom in. They can use the tilt feature. They're rotating objects in 3D spaces. This was kind of like the ultimate tool to do that. If you're into games, you know, maybe like Flight Simulator or you're into Need for Speed, you can use this to simulate your car or your plane. You have that ultimate control. This is the most natural feel for that. For us, however, we did play it in FPS. So there wasn't too much of a practical use for this, but we did make good use of this side joystick here with our thumb. So easily within your reach, we managed to program this to do a building bind in Fortnite. I binded walls, floors, and ramps, and all you do is just roll your finger through. It was building like a madman. If you learn how to use it in game, it can save your other hand a lot of time. And speaking of joystick, there's one thing I wish the mouse did, and you know how the bottom part here kind of rotates? I wish there was some sort of lock feature so that it doesn't move anymore, because if you're not gonna use it, it could be distracting at times. Honestly, that would be the only improvement I wish Lexip could bring to probably their next version. I agree, that's literally the only improvement they could make. Okay, so it's it seems that so both of you do enjoy this great combination. And it seems that we have some other goodies for you guys. So Ricky. Okay. Cash. Oh my God. And for rolling yourself. All right, what is that? Wait, did I get the better one? So this is the same thing. Oh. Ceramic feet that you guys enjoyed using on this mouse oh. today. Oh, we have element 42. So you just peel it no and way. whenever it's time to replace the mouse feet, you can do so. Boop. That's it? That's it. That's exactly what it is. I love that. Yo, we have so many now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so element 94, we only have one and it's a very special element. Who will be walking away with it today? I think it's gliding my way. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Right, let's look at that again. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we'll see you in the next episode. All right. All right. Everybody took it.